When an Indian film gets nominated at the Oscars, it's truly a proud moment for Indians. This year, the film RRR made us proud. The epic action drama film directed by S.S. Rajamoli has taken the Indian film industry by storm. With an ensemble cast of some of the biggest names in Indian cinema, RRR has been making headlines since its announcement. But have you ever wondered about the real-life inspirations behind the larger-than-life characters in the film? Were they exactly the same as they are portrayed in the film? In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the protagonists of RRR and their real-life counterparts. Get ready to dive into the fascinating world of history and cinema as we compare the real and real-life stories of these legendary figures. One of the protagonists of RRR is Aluri Sitarama Raju, played by Telugu superstar Ram Charan. He is presented as an Andhra Pradesh-born revolutionary independence warrior who battles the British Raj in the early 20th century. In the movie RRR, Aluri Sitarama Raju is depicted as a complicated and multi-dimensional character. He is shown as an inspiring and daring leader who motivates his followers to stand up for their rights. In addition, he is a principled guy who would do everything for his cause. He is shown as having a sensitive and emotional side while being a strong and ruthless revolutionary. He is greatly moved by his people's suffering and is prepared to go to extraordinary lengths to allay it. Last but not least, he has strong ties to his family, his neighborhood, and his culture and customs. His love for his people and his fervent desire for independence fuel his actions. He is presented by Rajamoli as a bold, charismatic leader who would do everything to secure the liberation of his people. Another protagonist, Komaram Bhim, looks to Raju's character in the movie as a mentor for advice and assistance in his struggle against Nizam's government. The film's creators have taken artistic license in how they have portrayed the people and the events, even if parts of the events are based on real-life incidents. For instance, Raju's character in RRR is shown as a larger-than-life figure who can defeat whole armies by himself, ride a blazing motorbike, and tame wild creatures. Although not historically accurate, these portrayals uplift the movie's entertainment factor. Many small personality distinctions exist between Aluri Sitarama Raju in real life and real. Aluri Sitarama Raju, also known as Manyam Virudu, or Hero of the Jungle, in his native Vishakapatnam, was born in 1897 into a middle-class family in the hamlet of Pandrangi. He saw the persecution of the British Empire and the resulting socio-economic circumstances while traveling the nation as a youth. In 1922, he led the Gudem uprising in response to the Madras Forest Act and planned attacks on police stations. The name Rampa Rebellion refers to the disputed territory that was oppressed by the Exploitative Act and the two years of conflict with the British. Although Raju played a significant part in Indian history, there are still gaps in his biography which gave S.S. Rajamoli the freedom to embellish the character in RRR. In the film, Raju's father gave his life to save his town and a young Raju was carrying a British rifle, neither of which is true in real events. Aluri Sitarama Raju is portrayed quite differently from the historical character Aluri Sitarama in the movie RRR in several ways. Moreover, the movie depicts him as having fought exclusively for tribal sovereignty, while in truth, he was a passionate opponent of British colonialism and an active member of the Indian independence struggle. Moreover, Aluri Sitarama Raju is portrayed in the movie as a charming bold commander who motivates his people with his tenacity and daring. In contrast to how he is portrayed in the movie, he was recognized for being a more deliberate and smart commander who meticulously prepared his assaults. Aluri Sitarama Raju actually died valiantly while battling the British, was betrayed by a fellow freedom fighter, and was killed by the British in 1924. Aluri Sitarama Raju is portrayed as a youthful guy in the movie, but in reality, he started his uprising against the British in his late 30s. He began his guerrilla campaign against the British in the Andhra Pradesh forest when he was around 43 years old. Maybe Aluri Sitarama Raju's depiction in the movie as a young guy has been done to make him endearing to a younger audience and to highlight his physical strength and fighting abilities. Though his decision to reroute British munitions and planned attacks on police stations remain true to the real-life Raju. On the other hand, another protagonist of the film is Komaram Bhim, played by another Telugu superstar, N.T. Rama Rao Jr. Bhim is described as a tribal chief from Telangana who opposes the British Raj to defend the rights of his people. In RRR, Komaram Bhim is shown as a fearless and independent leader who is prepared to battle against all obstacles for the rights of his people. He is a master of archery and other fighting arts, and despite being outnumbered and outgunned by the British soldiers, he is fearless. In his quest for justice for his people, he is stubborn and obstinate, and he is prepared to suffer personal loss and disappointments to realize his objectives. Also, he has a great love and respect for the customs and cultures of his tribe and feels a strong connection with both his people and his homeland. While seeming harsh, he is shown to be unselfish and willing to make sacrifices for his people. The actual Komaram Beam and the one shown in RRR do, however, vary in a few ways. The time frames of Aluri Sitarama Raju and Komaram Beam are compressed to 
the movie RRR, and some events are also rearranged. For instance, Aluri Sitarama Raju encounters Komaram Bhim in the movie and aids him in his resistance against the British. The two, however, never really met since they were engaged in separate conflicts in other locations and at other times. Komaram Bhim was born in 1900 in Sankipali, Adilabad district, Telangana. He grew up seeing the British Empire's persecution and confronted it with a printing press. He then staged a demonstration for improved workers' rights and was jailed. He engaged in combat with the Nizam of Hyderabad in 1940 and killed an official. He uses the phrase, Jal Jangle Jami to call for indigenous people's fundamental rights. In RRR, Komaram Bhim is portrayed as a brave warrior who defeated the British army using guerrilla tactics and his understanding of the local geography. His life's events are condensed in the movie and combined giving the impression that his uprising was a fleeting thing. However, his struggle with the British lasted for several years and was part of the bigger freedom movement. He was portrayed as a tribal chief who cared most about the welfare of his people. While in truth, he was a political figure who fought for the rights of all Indians. He actively participated in Congress and collaborated with other freedom fighters to secure India's independence. Apart from showing events out of order, the movie also depicts Aluri Sitarama Raju's arrest and incarceration, which took place after his uprising had already started. These adjustments to the chronology and sequence of events may have been made for narrative reasons to simplify and improve the storytelling. They could have also been produced to heighten the dramatic tension and emphasize the hardship and accomplishments of the characters. Well, speaking of RRR, we hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the history and cinema behind one of the most highly anticipated films of the year. Before we sign off, we want to hear from you. Did you learn anything new about these legendary figures? Which character did you love the most in RRR? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.